Hi there, I'm Shalini, and today I'm gonna show you some ab workouts. Before I go into it, there's three things that you have to keep in mind when you're doing these ab workouts. The first one is that you have to, you have to do them correctly. Um, there's no point um, in doing an ab workout if you're doing it incorrectly. Same with like any, any type of workout you're doing. If you're doing it with a bad body position, you might as well not be doing it at all. So just keep that in mind. The second thing is that set a number for yourself. So my number is 50. I do 50 of everything. And um, you can set a number of uh, 20 or 30. It just really depends on you. The last thing, the last thing, the third thing is that you need to be consistent. Like this is, this is actually, I struggle with this too. Aim for a realistic number. So maybe every other day, try to work on your abs. So yeah, those are those are the three things um, you should just keep in mind when you're doing these. Okay, so the first one, it's gonna be kind of like a crunch. Um, you're going to lay down like this. You're going to make sure that your feet are not too far like this, and they're a little bit apart. You're just going to go like this. Okay? And you don't, want, you don't need to go all the way up. You just need to make sure your shoulders come off. And then you'll feel this one on your upper abs. The second one, you're going to keep your hands on your head like this. And you're going to twist. And I call these the twists. And you're going to touch the opposite elbow. And these are going to work out your sides. The next one is the penguin. So on this one, you're going to just touch, try to touch the top of your toes. Just going side to side like this. And then you'll feel it in your sides. Oh, I'm already tired. Okay, the next one is called a lemon squeezer or a tuck up. So on this one, you want to make sure that you don't stop before you finish the set. So you're going to go here, this is a hollow hold, and you're going to go up, here, up, like that. Hold here, and if you're getting tired in the middle of your set, just hold it here. So you don't have to, you know, come down and break your number or your set. And you're going to feel this kind of in the whole entire ab. The next one. Um, you're going to put your feet up like this. You want to have straight legs and you're going to try to touch your toes like this. The next one is your leg lift. So you're here. You can be holding on to something or you could just have your arms out to the side. You're going to go down. You're not going to touch and you're going to come up. This also works your lower abs. A variation of this one is to also switch your legs back and forth like this. And this is, makes it a little bit harder. Make sure you're keeping your legs straight for this one though because it's easy to just bend and just go down like this and you're not working anything. This is one of those times you need to have straight legs and go all the way down. Don't touch though and come all the way up and that'd be one. So down and up is one. Another one is is a side to side. So you would go down this way and come up to the top, go down and get to the wall and come up. And these are gonna work your sides. And these are a little bit difficult. So the next one is a V up. So here, here, you're not gonna touch the floor. Your hands are not touching the floor. Um, you you want to make sure you're lifted. You're gonna go up, and you don't touch, but you make sure um, your shoulders come down, and you go up. And if you need to rest, I would just rest over here. The next one is a variation that I learned from one of my uh, coaches, and this one is very <laughs> intense. Pike, split, split straddle and tuck so I would count that as one 
and that's it. That's if you're um, a little bit more advanced because it's easy to do this one wrong. <laughs> There's also side to side. You're going to make sure you're not too low, you're not too high, so you're not just going like this. You're Usually you can do this with a ball. You're going to hold kind of like 45 degrees if you can see me. Um, you should be feeling a little bit of like a workout here and you're just going to twist. Usually you get a touch. And these are going to work your sides. There is the hollow hold. This is used a lot in gymnastics and this one is a little tricky because it's easy to get wrong. For this, you need to make sure your back is pushed against the floor, okay? And you'll see what I'm talking about, look. Here's a good um, hollow hold. This is not a hollow hold. If you see my back is arched, you need to make sure that you're pushing your belly button to the ground and your shoulders are lifted. It's very easy. I'm gonna try to show you a close up. It's very easy to do this. And you might even do it subtly. But the moment you're sticking out, that means um, you're not working your core anymore. You need to make sure that you're kind of like in a crunch first and then you're lifting like this and your shoulders are off. Also, there is the plank, you know, just holding this. Um, this one is also form is important to make sure you're not a mountain or you're not a seal. Make sure you're, you're squeezing your bottom and you don't bounce because if you bounce, that means you're kind of like taking a little break from the hold. So you need to make sure you hold. If a plank is difficult for you, you can do um, a plank on your knees like this. It's better to have a good body form than to do it incorrectly. So if you're doing your plank and you're like this, you might as well not be doing it. You might as well just be on your knees. There is also up down. So here, up, down, up, down. There is this one where you're kind of like in a 90 degrees and you're trying to touch like this. And this is different from a lemon squeezer because in a lemon squeezer you start here and you come both of your um, legs and upper body comes up. But for this one, you're just right here. <laughs> also, um, you're going to start to notice your abs are hurting. So if you need to stretch it out, just do a seal stretch like this. And that's all the workouts that I um, came up with at the top of my head right now. There's obviously a lot more, um, but these are the ones I usually um, go to whenever I'm working out. And give it a thumbs up if it helped you. Subscribe if you want. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day. Bye!